All right, so we're going to make a curtain wall with a net um, grading look. So I'm just going to open up a new project using an architecture template. And the first thing we're going to create is actually a roof. Um, and so I'm going to go to my level two. I'm going to go to roof, roof by footprint, and I'm going to pick the sloped glazing. And I'm going to come and do a rectangle just to draw a roof. And I don't really want this to be sloped, so I'm going to go to modify to stop the creation command and then window around all of my profile lines and remove this check from defined slope. You can do it either here in the options bar or over here in the properties dialog box, and that's going to make that a flat roof. Now, if I hit check, I now, if I go to my 3D view, have a plane of glass there. Now if I go to architecture and I go to curtain grid, I can come and place curtain grids on this as I wish. I can also just do one segment, right, and just kind of go through and create my own custom grid. The other thing I can do is I can apply a system to it, so I'm undoing that, um, by going to edit type and I can give it a layout grid spacing. So I could say divide this by a fixed number and I could say divide this by a fixed number and click OK and it will divide it evenly. Um, so either way is fine. Um, right now I don't have any mullions. So I could also either place mullions using the architecture mullion option and select my mullion and do all grid lines or I could pick again the system go to edit type and if I place mullions using the type option it will place and pin mullions all over this. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is I want to create a mesh material um, so this looks like a mesh. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to come in and I'm going to remove this system so it's just one piece and we'll look at it that way. So if I come in and say none here in the grid layout and none here in the grid layout, click OK, it'll delete those grid lines and we'll go back to a single pane of horizontal glass. All right, so to create um, a material that we're going to apply to this panel, you're going to go to select the panel so you may have to tab, tap your tab key until the panel becomes highlighted. Left click on it. If it's pinned, unpin it. We're going to go to edit type and we're going to duplicate this one. And we're going to call this mesh panel one and click OK. And so now we've created a new panel. We did have system glazed and this, the panel the system glaze panel has glass on it and a thickness of one inch and an offset of one and a quarter inches. I'm going to reset the offset to zero. I'm going to um, set the thickness to, let's do half inch. And then I'm going to make a new material for this guy. So if I come into the glass, I can left click on the right hand side of that and it's going to open up my material dialog box. And in the next video, I am going to create a new material for this.